What's up guys? I'm Chef Plum and today I've got one of my favorite chefs here in Connecticut, executive chef of the Captain Daniel Packard Inn, my man Chef Mark Vaquito. Chef, tell them where we are today. We're at the Farmer's Cow in Lebanon, Connecticut. Man, this place is gorgeous. Look how beautiful it is. You know, dairy farming is one of those things that I think people don't understand happen right here in Connecticut. And that's why I want to take edible nutmeg on the road to Lebanon, Connecticut at Farmer's Cow, baby. Let's go check it out. Presented by South Avenue Butcher, your local traditional Irish butcher specializing in homemade sausages and burgers. We actually leased the farm in um, 1989. The original farm we purchased was 180 acres. Since then we've grown it to, uh, today we own over 1,000 acres, and uh, we're proud to say that well over 700 of those acres are permanently protected by Connecticut's Farmland Preservation Program. The farm had 80 cows when we started, and since then we've grown uh, internally mostly, and today we milk over 600 cows. When we started in business, we, were, we had a marketing advisor and we sat around the kitchen table and he says, you need to be able to articulate who you are. And one of the guys says, well, we're a bunch of farmers. The next one says, yep, we're the guys who milk the cows. So we put it to a jingle and um, it's on our milk carton today. And it goes, we are the farmers who work the land and grow the crops to feed the cows and make the milk for you to enjoy. Boom, 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 boom. The farmer's cow. That was awesome. <laughs> The Farmer's Cow is a group of six Connecticut family dairy farms working for the future of their family's dairy business. The Farmer's Cow produce milk, half and half, eggs, coffee, cider, summer beverages, ice cream sandwiches, and ice cream. Farmer's Cow products are available in southern New England and in New York. I mean, I honestly pictured you guys had like 50 dudes lined up on a, on a steel pail just kind of going to town. <laughs> I was a little disappointed I came in and saw it, so we can, we can set you up if you want. <laughs> I'll milk a cow. Most of the cows here are Holstein cows. They can produce 23,000 pounds of milk each year. That's about how much ice cream I ate last year. Farmer's Cow, one of the coolest places that we have in Connecticut. We're so lucky to have guys like this around. You gotta check out some of these cows. You gotta check out some of the dairy stuff, some of the products they have. You guys also are doing summer beverages? We do, yep. yep. What does that mean? Oh, we do lemonades and iced teas and um, Can you wait till it's your turn? Out. <laughs> it's not your turn. It's not your turn. Through our tours and through the activities we hold here, people really get to get down to it and see what a cow eats, how she lives, answer the questions they have about it, and uh, see how they're milked and what we do to create quality milk and to keep that cow comfortable. I'm starving, and I'm sure these boys are too. Let's get these farmers fed. Skirt steak is one of my favorite cuts of meat. It's delicious because of all those layers of fat in there. Fat's not always a bad thing. Fat does equal flavor. I think one of my favorite things about Farmer's Cow is just the variety of products you can get from these guys, all locally done. Uh, I buy their eggs. I serve them almost every morning to my family. So I thought, what cooler to make a steak and eggs. We have a beautiful piece of steak from South Avenue Butcher in New Canaan. These guys are great. They're hooking us up with some beautiful steaks. It's kind of weird making a steak with a cow, right? It is. Well, don't. <laughs> just hide it, right? <laughs> just hide it from them. Um, so I thought doing a steak and egg dish would be awesome. What Sounds do you think? great. And we got some great cheese from Mr. Cheese. Oh, that's right. Uh -huh. Mr. Cheese made right here, right? Right here, man. Phenomenal Isn't stuff. It? What I've got here is some skirt steak. And all we did, we took a little bit of this blackening season we've got. We just put a little blackening season right on there, just like that. Just a little blackening season. Don't have to go heavy on it, you know? So we're going to pull this guy off. Now listen, you're on camera with the captive audience. You feel comfortable making some eggs? Yeah, let's do this. All right. Let's get some butter on here oh, first here. Here we go. All right, you do two, I'll do two. Look at these. These are unbelievable eggs. Nice and fresh. Let's do it. I'm cracking. Over easy eggs, what that means basically, really simple. You're going to have the runny yolk and the, and the white part is going to be nice and firm. I think it's one of the best ways to eat eggs. It looks great on a plate. It tastes delicious and it kind of adds an extra fat to the dish, right? It does, it does. Skirt steak, one of my favorite cuts of meat. Such a high fat content. Adds so much flavor to it, it stays so juicy, but you know, when you get a piece of steak like this, you don't want to overcook it, right? Don't want to overcook it. Never, right. never overcook the steak. Absolutely. Mom always said, don't play with your food, and that holds true here too, especially when grilling meat. Just leave the steak on the grill, flip it once, and don't poke it. Tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some steak here, we're gonna top it off. You ready? Okay. Let's see if we can make this happen. There we go. Okay, let's get a little plate going here. Oh yeah, here we are. And try not to break the yolk with this wooden spatula. Gonna use my fingers. Hit it with the egg. Nice. There it is. Boom. Nice. So we're gonna top it off with some Get of this beautiful cheese mystic cheese on here. It looks great. There we hey, go. Hey, for outdoor cooking, we're pretty good. Garlic chili sauce. If you buy some any grocery store, this stuff is fantastic. You can put it in anything. Put it on steak. Put it on chicken. I love it. In your bloody marys. Oh, right. Fantastic. Put a little drop right Good there. It looks great. Add some color to it. A little more cheese. And look at that. Unbelievable. Beautiful version. 
steak and it's eggs right there. Looks delicious. Hanging out at Farmer's Cow. Dude, love it. This is it. Boom. I think we gotta fire off a few more of these. This is awesome. Dean's gonna try this. He's gotta try it. You can yeah. get it. Okay. I just. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, money. Money. <laughs> Big thanks to Farmer's Cow for having us out here. Absolutely. You guys are awesome. Wonderful Love operation. I don't think I'm leaving. I think I'm going to stay here the entire time. That's the plan. And eat more steak and eggs, right? Eat more steak. There we go. All right, come on in. Come on in. Do I have a fork? Get in there. Got some more steak working. Awesome. Mm. Delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Here we go. Mm. What do you think, guys? Do I have more? Uh, please, please get in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>